Now that Diddy has been arrested, I finally feel safe enough to come forward and tell the story about how I was invited and accidentally accepted an invitation to one of his freak-offs. And let's get one thing out of the way in the beginning. When you get invited to one of his freak-offs, it's not like he hands you a birthday card and says, hey, come to my freak-off. No, you have no idea that it's the freak-off that you're going to. You think you're just going to a normal party. Now this is TikTok, so if you're expecting me to go into great detail about the unconsenting horseplay that I endured, this is not the place for that. But just know that there was unconsented horseplay. So everything in this story took place many years ago when I was an up-and-coming rap artist. I had a song pop off on SoundCloud, and he heard it and liked it. He reached out via email. So when I first click on and read the email, I'm thinking it's a prank that one of my friends has put on me. I mean, this is Diddy we're talking about. I wasn't a great fan of his music, but I've been a big fan of music that he has produced over the years. So it's safe to say I was ecstatic. And you know, in hindsight, after what you're about to find out that happens later in the story, I wish it had been a prank. But anyways, I reply to the email. I wait, I wait. Boom, I get an email back. And it definitely was not a prank. Everything was good to go. I had an official invite to this party. So boom, here it comes. It's officially the night of the party. I get all dressed up. I get my ride and I show up. As soon as I walked through the door, I got greeted by security, and then two things went through my mind. And no, I'm not racist, but one of the things that I went through my mind was, wow, I'm the only white person here. The second thing was, wow, this isn't that many people. I thought this party was going to be a lot more lit. The very next red flag that I encountered was the amount of women that were there. And when I say amount of women there, they were zero, none, zilch. I was like, wow, this is a bad sign for any party I want to be at. I don't care if Diddy, whoever's throwing it, this is not good. I'm there for about 10, 15 minutes. You know, I'm bouncing around. I'm greeting people. And um, I hate to sound like this, but I got to be accurate. You know, everyone there was just at least a little suspect. You know what I mean? So there's no women there. Everyone's sus. I'm like, man, what am I early? You know, what's going on here? But what ended up being their play was they were bringing groupings of four to the back room one at a time where he was waiting to hang out with them. I thank God I wasn't in the first grouping because I probably would have went. But once I saw the look on the people's faces that were coming out after the first outing, I knew that this just was not the place for me. And I got in my car, vroom, skirt. 